It's no secret that retail is in a state of change. E-commerce has introduced competition for traditional bricks and mortar, and the industry is trying hard to pivot. But while there are lots of reasons to be concerned about certain types of retail, there's still opportunity out there if you know where to find it. It's easy to simply state that suburban retail is struggling while urban metros offer more opportunity. But the truth is more complicated than that, and it's critical to understand market dynamics. In suburban retail, while malls may be struggling, there is still opportunity for successful investment and development if the anchor tenant is right. Big box anchored centers tend to struggle, largely because what they offer is less of a need and more of a want. But centers anchored by grocery or pharmacies tend to be more successful as people need what they sell as opposed to just want it. Retail venues with things to do outside of shopping perform far better than the ones who don't. People can buy things online, but they can't look at and feel products, nor can they eat and drink and otherwise entertain themselves online. Projects that attract shoppers and keep them on site are the ones who are finding the most success. It's not enough anymore to take the if you build it, they will come approach to retail. The presence of strong anchor tenants is critical to the success of a retail project. If you've got a strong base of tenants or a strong strategy for bringing some in, you're gonna be in a far better position to secure financing than if you don't. But it's important to stress that having a letter of intent or a number of proposals out isn't enough these days. You need to have signed, executed leases with locked-in terms if you're going to get lenders to step up and finance your deal or project. Knowing your business goals and having a strong partner to provide the right type of capital for your project will put you in the best position to take advantage.